Yep, great. Okay, with no further ado, we're going to jump in, guys. Um, I'm sorry I'm late. Um, you know, li life happens sometimes. Here we go. All right. Let's, let's, think, let's do it, Dave. So today you're going to learn my Facebook ad scaling secrets that help me sell over 20,000 units of one product, one, app, one individual product. Actually, I've done that twice. Um, in, back in 2015, I used almost the exact same methodology to scale a different product. So two times I've done over 20,000 on one product. You are in the right place if you have a serious desire to create a repeatable plan, clarity of attack for scaling your Facebook ads. Just a little bit you guys know about me, I, I live in Japan. Um, even though I'm American, I've lived in Japan for over 20 years. I, I mean, this is a picture of the Golden Pavilion. Um, you know, this is a place in Kyoto where they have a temple that's all made of gold. Here I have a samurai sword. I got this, not a toy samurai sword that you can buy in the stores, but a real one. It was heavy. I got to actually touch it and feel it. And I'm, these guys have gladiator strength. Here I am just, I'm traveling in London for an uh, event. Um, I guess many, many years ago, I was invited to speak at the Teespring's first ever. They have you know, their own training events, and I was invited to be a speaker there, and, and I, that's me in London. And then here I'm speaking in Las Vegas at a big in, in a marketing event, and I spoke at another event in Montreal. I, you know, at the end of this uh, webinar, I'm going to make you guys an offer. And here's the thing. You should never be afraid to challenge yourself. Um, a, a little over a year ago, um, I came back from... Uh, Canada after a two-week trip there and I was just massive I mean I'd been blowing a uh, blue uh, bl blowing up you know getting fat for several months before that but that trip really just made me huge and uh, here I am in this picture on August 22nd with my buddy Phil who I went to his wedding and I was uh, 28 uh, 28 percent body fat and here I am on May 3rd. I should get a more recent photo of me, but uh, now I'm down to a little, I'm actually at 13.5% body fat. So I just made a decision that I needed to make a change. And the power of that decision made all the difference. James, did that, like, Cassie, do you have a little story of your life when you decided to make a decision? It made all the difference? Are you with me, James? Uh, looks like James may have... <laughs> Oh, sorry. I'm here, buddy. Just out of curiosity, do you have a story, a quick story in your life that, uh, you know. About making a decision that radically yeah. changed it? Yep. I sure do. Um, in 1996, I um, ponied up $25,000 to get coaching uh, be part of a coaching group with uh, Jay Abraham, the uh, U.S. Um, preeminent uh, marketing authority. And um, to say that radically changed um, my life uh, is, 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 a, is an understatement. But, um, you know, coming up with that 25 grand, oh, my God, that was the... Uh, that, that was something incredibly hard and sacrificing and begging um, that I had to uh, had to do, but I scraped through by the skin of my um, whatevers and um, and made it happen. It was it was uh, some of the coolest things. I actually, then caught up with with Jay once again um, uh, only about ten days ago, four or twelve days ago. Um, I uh, saw Jay again, um, yeah, and he's getting ready for a documentary. They've made a documentary of all things about Jay, and, you know, he's met people like Damon, John, and all these incredible people. But anyway, I digress. Okay. Yeah, yes, that is Phil Capriano, my good friend and partner in, in, the, in the photo there. Just a little guys about me. So I just want to tell you a story about my life. It's really important before we jump into the content. You know, what does this Northwest Mutual Company um, symbol or sign have to do with my success? Well, in my first two years online, so 2009, 2010, I went through all my savings. I lost money. Um, I paid for my lifestyle. I was broke. I was literally trying my best to make this internet business work, and it was I was not successful. 
And I was to the point where literally, you know, because I was doing what most people do. I, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to be, be I, I thought I'd be smart and save myself money. But turned out I ended up costing myself an infinite amount, a lot more money because I tried to, I went on YouTube, I looked, took up the free trains on YouTube, I went on all these free mastermind groups, you know, there were, there were, there were 60,000 people and it's the blind leading the blind and because, I mean, you're getting advice from people who have not had success. It doesn't, it doesn't really even make sense. But I was doing that and I wasn't having success and I was spending money on my life, I was spending money on my business and I was broke. And I was at the point where I was literally about to go back and get a job in my old company doing sales again. They were, they were willing to have me back. But I was talking to my father, and I was actually trying to beg him to give me a loan so I could uh, afford to do some training and coaching. And, and I realized at that point I should have gone to a training coach, coach in the first place because it would have saved me lots, lots of money and I, on money I didn't make. But anyway, he, he refused. And then he said, but you know what? If you really want to do this, there is a life insurance policy that I've been paying every year so that you are the beneficiary when I die. Um, you can get that. Uh, you can take borrow money from that life insurance policy. And then you have to pay interest in that and you have to be responsible for the results of that. So I did that. I borrowed over uh, $12,000 um, in that and I took half of that, 6500 of it, and I invested in, in not just a training program but also a private coaching program, and that made all the difference. Two months later, I was profitable. I had my first profitable month two months after I made that decision. And I have not looked back since then. I have been profitable in this line, in this business ever since 2011. So, and anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that story. You know, you know, sometimes, you know, I want you guys to know that, hey, I'm in your shoes. I know what it's like to be struggling in this business. I had two years of struggle. Anyway, for a bonus, for everyone who watches this webinar, I'm going to reveal the product type that you can go out and sell right now. That's a hot selling product. Um, that's currently on Custom Cat, and it sells well, and a lot of people are not selling it, and I've sold over 20,000 units of this one particular product. Who wants to know the exact product you can go out and sell at, today? Who's excited about that? Yeah, yep. Anyway, I'll give you guys that product here at the end of the webinar. All right. Now, one of the key questions, because today we're going to talk about scaling, okay? When are we, today we're going to talk about scaling. But the question is, when should we start to scale? Because this is a critical thing to understand. A lot of marketers scale too soon, and they lose money because of it. So, number one, there's an issue here. Some products start fast and die. I have no, I can't explain the, the reason, but sometimes you launch a product, um, you get the two or three people, four or five, six, seven people that are interested, and then suddenly, that's it. As Facebook goes deeper into your target audience, Suddenly, that's it, and it just dies. Or you get a little bit of sprinkle sales here and there. It's it's bizarre, but it uh, it happens, and I've seen it over and over and over again for myself and for my in my students. So I'm I'm just saying, guys, this is something you need to realize is that some products will start fast and die. So if you scale too fast and aggressively, you could actually hurt yourself and lose a lot of money. I should have made this part number number two instead of number three, but before I start to scale aggressively. The product should sell for a week or at least five days, I would say, at least five days. When we get into the Christmas season, you're going to want to start scaling aggress more aggressively quicker. But so I would at least go three or four or five days of consistent sales before you start to really push hard. Now, you can add new ad sets when you're, when you're in that testing phase, but just don't add and increase your budget and your ad sets aggressively. Okay? That's really, really important. And then the other thing is, People say, well, when I'm doing my test ads, and this is a mistake I think a lot of people make, they go after their specialty audiences. This is part number two. They go after their specialty audiences. What I mean by that is they, they, they go after the custom audience of their, of their buyers. Um, they go after the look-like audiences from that custom audiences. They go after their fan page likes, and they got the looks likes from the fan page, and the fan page engages and look-likes from that. Because those are specialty audiences that you own. Okay, and these are great for scaling. So you want to save those audiences for when you're scaling. Plus, you want to know if your product is special enough to compete in the open market, and really, and because there's no way you're going to sell twenty, you no, know, ten, no, even thousands of units to your just those specialty audiences. You may get a couple hundred, that's fine, but you're not going to do in the thousands on those specialty audiences alone. You're gonna to have to go out to the interest targeting. So I always, 
always test with the interest targeting. Because if I can get the interest targeting to convert and buy my product, I've got something. Then, then I take it to my specialty audiences that I own. Does that make sense? That's really, really a critical thing, guys. Te about when I say test your product against the open competitive interest targeting. Does that make sense? Sure does. Yep. Okay, so you want to go for about a week, at least four or five days, against the interest targeting, right? In the open competitive market. And once you start, once you have a product that's selling really well, consistently, every day, then you're on to something. Okay, let's talk about the typical scaling mistakes. I see this all the time, and I even see people uh, teaching this. And I, I call them mistakes. Okay, and here's why. They very rarely work well. On a, on a rare occasion, it can, but it's not common at all. Okay? That is number one, increasing ad budgets. Increasing ad set budgets, right? Just increasing, increasing, increasing it, okay? That is a mistake, guys. That really messes up the optimization on your, on your ad, right? And it, it could take a winning ad set and kill it, okay? Next is duplicating a winning ad set. A lot of times now duplicating it a few times right maybe up to like 10 times at the most of the big audience that's okay that's okay but duplicating it 20 30 40 100 I see that all the time and, and, and what happens is only very few of them work and you're just wasting a lot of money so probably a lot of you are scratching your head right now saying well Chris if I can't increase my budget nor can I duplicate the ad sets a lot how how the hell am I going to scale? And guys, it does require some creativity with Facebook ads. But I'm going to teach you what something called expand scaling. This is by far the simplest scaling method ever created, and it works. I have used this method since 2013, and so have thousands of my students. Guys, so think about this. This particular method I'm teaching today, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18. Now we're six years I've been using this method. And it works. Through all the algorithm changes that happened, the manual bidding, uh, bonanza that was going on for a while, all, through all that, this method has always worked and continues to work today. You, you guys maybe seen some of those screenshots I posted. Like, I mean, what are you guys talking about with expensive uh, conversions? This is still working. So who's interested in knowing a method that you can use and, it, and it'll, it'll, it'll work next year and the year before? Josh is, yes. All right. Yeah, Josh, you're scratching your head, right? I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm about to surprise you. Here we go. But before I do that, I want to point out one thing here. And this is an agreement between us, right? This is just one of 14 different scaling methods that I use and my students use. 13 of them I keep secret, and I only will share them with my group. If you you got to be in Econ Vantage to get access to them. But in exchange for that, I'm going to fully teach you this one method so you can go out and implement that tonight. How's that sound? I'm going to teach you one of the methods fully and leave nothing hidden. All right, here we go. Expand scaling. Okay, you launch many $5 conversion ad sets a day. You can optimize them both for add to cart and for purchase. I recommend that you optimize, you recommend you do 10 to 20 ad sets daily. If that works, do more, 30 to 40 the next day, right? So, so for a few days, do 10 to 20, right? 10 to 20, we're talking about, 50 to $100, right, okay? And if that works, you do that for two or three days, then next go 30 to 40, and just keep adding new ad sets, $5. So, guys, people are saying, well, why, why $5? And here's one thing that's interesting about Facebook ads. Unless you're using manual bidding, as you raise your budget, Facebook, the cost of your conversion for sale will go up. Facebook, I think, is rigging the system. 
If you got a high budget, they say, oh, great. This person's got a lot of money to spend. I'm going to charge them more. But, but, but basically, we're, I'm gaming the system by keeping the budgets low and forcing Facebook to give me cheap conversions. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, Chris, wait a minute here. How am I going to get so many targets? How can I possibly find so many targets to create this many ad sets? I'm going to show you that here in a second. But here's the deal. If you get, say, maybe two, 300 targets, you're good. And here's why. You can test the same target over and over and over and over again. I do this all the time. For example, let's just say I'm launch, I target Budweiser. I launch it today. I'll, I'll do it again two days from now. Then two days later. And then two days later, I'll do it again. And he, here's the thing. Every time, it'll perform differently. There's a certain randomness when it comes to Facebook. Okay? Why is that? Well, because of competition at the given time and just some... Yeah, and, 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 and just the way people react to it at the beginning. See, Facebook makes a decision on your ad whether it's good or not from the very beginning. Because Facebook wants to please its users, so it only wants to show them good ads. And so if your ad is getting a good performance, they will give you low CPMs, and then you'll get cheap link clicks, and you'll get cheap sales. If your ad is, is not performing well, they'll put it down at the bottom of the auction. You'll get high CPMs high cost per conversion, and high cost per link clicks. So it, it's so important what happens right at the very beginning, in the first half day with that ad. So, you know, you, as you're going in, it, it, it will perform bad. Good One one interest will perform good one day, and next interest, it'll perform ba bad the next day. So you just got to keep testing and keep running them, okay? And you'll eventually end up with some good ones. Now, do you guys have, Understand why the basics of the, what I'm saying this, me this method. I'll get into how you can come up with all these targets here in a second. Um, Josh says, "What about the optimizing and learning phase? That is crock of crap. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, man, but I, 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 I we've tested that over and over and over again, and it, it, it just it's it's meaningless. Facebook may have said it." Set it, um, set it up to work that way, but in reality, it doesn't work. Because back when they did implement, in, uh, introduce that op, uh, that um, learning phase thing, we tested out large budget ads to see if it would work. For, and we ran like $50 ads and, and $100 ads and ran them for several days. And the performance was just horrible. And some other people have turned it out as well. So anyway... Now the question is, how do you come up with so many targets, okay? Because if you're going to do expand scaling, you need a lot of targets, right? Well, here's how you do this, okay? For this scaling method, you need a minimum audience of 20,000. So you want 20,000 because you're going to be spending $5 a day. You want uh, at least so at least 20,000 people in that audience size. So just by going that low of, a tar of an audience, you open up so many more keywords or interests that you can use, okay? And you need to be a little bit creative, but think of – uh, think of many categories like magazines, blogs, TV shows, brands, equipment, books, famous people, etc. Okay, if you just start thinking of these things, you can come up with, come up with a good, good, a good number of um, targets. Search in the ad manager tool. Search in Google for your, and stuff related to your niche. Right. Take a target that's working for you. And go into Audience Insights and plug in that target and look what Facebook suggests to you. Test out those suggestions. Next, create custom audiences of your buyers, of people who engage on your fan page, people who like your fan page, people who message you on your fan page. You can create custom audiences of all these different things. People who view content, you know, view content, the pictures, you can create a custom audience of that, right? Create all these custom audiences and then create lookalikes off them. If you follow all these different methods, I, I don't care how small your niche is. I've never seen a niche that you couldn't come up with at least 100 targets. You couldn't come up with at least, at least 100, okay? So, I mean... If you really use your creativity, you can 
you can come up with more targets. And then you can make expand scaling work. Any questions about that? Um, so, yeah, separate items. So I, I target one interest at a time, one interest, one lookalike, one custom audience, one at each time, Josh. That's correct. In separate ad sets, yes, in separate ad sets. Um, now, guys, this is a lot of work, especially as you especially as you scale, because there's a lot of ad sets. So here it says, wait, does this not take a lot of time setting up and managing these many ad sets, especially since they're all unique? And that's a problem with the span scaling method. But I use automation to fix that. So. Um, now, guys, obviously, these some of these software tools are a little bit expensive, so I wouldn't necessarily go out and get them now. I'd wait until you got something that's worth scaling, um, because you know, and they they come with free trials, so you can you can maximize the free trial, and and then you have you're making the money you can afford it. But Quaya or Ad Espresso are great for setting up ads. You can set up hundreds of ad sets in minutes. You can also save templates. For example, let's just say you have the bat, the the magazine, all the magazines related to your niche. Or you can create a template of that. It, whatever, golf. Say you're in the golf niche, golf magazines. So then you could then you can run, you can save that template, and then you can literally spit out the ads in minutes, less than a minute. Guys, Quiet is amazing. Okay, it literally, literally launches up to 100 ads a minute. Okay, now for managing the ads. Right. There's two things you can do here. One, you can set up rules in the Facebook Ads Manager, but unfortunately, it's very limited in its in what the kind of rules you can set up. You can only set up one rule. You can't have com combination rules, and it's free. But you could. You might want to set up something like if an ad spends ten dollars and doesn't have a purchase, an ad set spends ten dollars and a purchase, kill it automatic automatically kill it. Right. That'll save you a lot of time. Um, I we have an even more better system in our in our econ vantage group we use we use three different matrix um, that's that our method for analyzing the ads is, is actually a top secret um, that I've never taught anywhere outside of that group but um, we use three different matrix in, com in combination so that we can kill ad sets after a little as three dollars in ad spent um, so that saves us thousands of dollars in wasted cost and to do that you need a advanced ads management tool and we use trust ads for that trust ads okay. and by the way you can do that do that all the all this you don't necessarily need these management tools you can analyze your ads manually which a lot of people do all right so automation makes all the difference when you really start to scale I mean let me give you an example of some of my students who are using our our system and plus you know that our there's our site setup system and our product development and creation system here's a student who this is, a, this is several weeks ago, but she launched a new product on day one because she's got her site set up just right the way we, the way we, we teach. She's, got, she's used our methods to find good products, and she's using our ads method. Okay, Day one, she's got this product doing $22 profit. Look at this. Two conversions at $2.44. And she was getting link clicks at $0.70. Cents. Two conversions at $2.80. One conversion at $82. One conversion at $1.90. Another conversion at, at $2.02. A conversion at $1.97. Very cheap. Here's what happened uh, a few days later. She, I asked her to send me another screenshot of that same campaign. And here's what she was getting. Now, the cost per conversion did go slightly up, but still very profitable. She was making $22 a sale. Eight conversions at $5.61. Six conversions at $6.63. Five conversions at $9.83. Five conversions at $7.89. Who would like to have this type of low conversions, cost per conversion, and make $22 profit per sale. Any day. So yeah, she left them running except for the ones that were not performing well. She killed them quickly with our system. Um, someone named CH says, I'm having trouble scaling a clear winning product. I know a guy doing 
one million a month with a product and I'm struggling to sell three unit three units per day. Well, I mean, it could be your 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 site setup is wrong, right? It could be your targeting's wrong. There's so there's so many there's so many things potential there. Anyway, guys, the key here is not just Facebook ads. It's the whole thing. It's the whole site setup. How to find the right products or create the right products. How to the whole marketing system, right? Facebook ads being part of that. So let me introduce you to Econ Vantage Course and Mastermind. Guys, being an entrepreneur can be one of the loneliest experiences ever. I mean, especially when it's not going well because you're sitting in front of your computer and you're trying to bang your head, you got to figure it out, and you're by yourself. And it doesn't have to be that way. It just doesn't. It doesn't have to be that way. Tony Robbins said, if you want to be successful, find someone who has achieved the results you want and copy what they do, and you'll achieve the same results. There's over, actually now, over 300 students in my Ecom Vantage Mastermind course. And here's just a couple of examples. Um, this guy who joined about... Three weeks after joining, he get, went through some of the content. I asked him, how are sales today? He said, freaking insane. $308 in ad spend, 54 orders, $2,200 $2, in sales. Barely profit. That's about a $1,000 profit day. This student did $61,000 in a week. Not in a month, in a week. So I'm going to take you here on a members uh, area tour. But for, let me tell you what's included in Ecom Vantage. There's a playbook for getting started, right? So if you're a beginner, we got you covered, step by step. Super detailed, Trevor, coming, everything you need to know. Guys, we have people in the group who join. At the, they already have seven-figure stores, and they get in there, and they learn stuff, and they're like, wow, man, this is incredible. There's, we, I really have an incredibly detailed training course here. And by the way, as I was doing this, I realized something. I can't do it all myself. There's no way I can create this awesome mastermind course group that covers everything you need to be successful in e-com if it's just me. Because I'm an expert on Facebook ads and Instagram ads, but I'm not really an expert on other stuff like Snapchat and Google and YouTube and things that like that. So I actually had to go, I had to reach out to my network and I brought in seven other experts who've added incredible content. The content's always being updated. For example, we have a webinar, another webinar coming up on Google this, this week or coming week. Let me take you on a tour on the inside. First is the basic session. This is a step-by-step -step playbook. It teaches you how to find the right niche, you know, how to master your niche to crush the competition. What's really interesting about this webinar, this part about mastering your niche, um, one person who joined, he's a seven, he had a seven-figure selling store, seven-figure selling store. He got in there, and he said, you know what, I'm going to go back and watch the ba Chris's basics video about how to master my niche. I, he goes, I implemented that, and I learned a lot of stuff, and I actually, from that one webinar and, and on the homework assignments that come with mastering your niche, he increased his revenue immediately. He literally paid for the course with, with just that. So what you will learn, a step-by-step -step formula for building an e-com store that will last, the right place, right way to choose a niche that's right for you and a brand, how to master your niche so you set up to crush the competition. Um, this is Michael Christ, who's been around in Ecom for several years. Here's what he had to say. I'm in Ecom Vantage. I've taken a lot of Ecom trainings, and I've been coached by some insanely successful people. Chris's Ecom Vantage course is the most unique and sustainable training I have seen. I highly recommend it. It's worth every penny if you want to build a sustainable business. Now, the next part is what I call important foundations. Basically, in this, you're going to learn how to turn $1 into 10 Apps that make you money, guys. Guys, I'd be willing to bet on every one of your stores you have apps you don't need. They're not helping you. The key is to get the right apps, not just to install apps. You waste Some of you are wasting money on apps that don't work. Here, and how to find a graphic designer, because, guys, you need to find a good designer. And there's some cool tricks and methodology so you're not wasting your time on bad designs. What you will learn, not all sites are created equal. How you optimize your site to convert makes a huge difference. We just had that guy on the, on here who you know said, "Oh, I can't make three sales on a guy who's on a product that's doing a million dollars from someone else." I'd be willing to bet you his site is not set up right. Um, you guys would be shocked about that.
There's people who join the, our Econ Vantage group, and just from this si site optimization webinar, they pay for the course. No need to overspend on apps. You will, you will learn the right apps. You need to crush it and save money. And you'll learn how to find good designers. Products. Secret to creating products, profitable products, that scale revealed. Guys, if you don't have a good product, you don't have a business. If you don't have a good product, you don't have a business. I, I, I keep repeating that, and, and people are not, so, not focused enough effort, effort on their products. I see it all the time. They, ba they barely spend any time. They spend five minutes. Of, oh, I found decent products. Oh, I'm going to go out and launch these and see what happens. That's why, they're, that's why they're failing. What you will learn, a cool method to come up with unique products that win. The personalization product method that will help you crush your competition with personalized products. Do you want to sell high margin products? I just talked about that woman doing $22 profit on one product, not $10, 22. <clears throat> Some of the products that we talk about in the product development and creation area, you know, $30, $40 profit in print and demand. If you go after high, high margin products, and you can learn that how to do that in our, in our course in Mastermind. This particular member, um, he says he's thanking me for teaching him how to use unique products here and here in one weekend. One weekend, because he had a unique product. It was a Father Day sale. He did two hundred thousand dollars in sales today. One hundred thirty-two thousand. The other day, the yesterday, seventy-two thousand in sales on one product using our product development creation method. Facebook ads. What will you what you will learn? The simple step-by-step -step Facebook sales system with my seven-figure e-com sales funnel. Secret targeting techniques that, that my comp competitors do not know that leave them broke. I talked a little bit about targeting today, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's some cool, unique methods that we use that help us target differently than our competition. Boomerang traffic that has people buying over and over again. Well, you will learn. The cheapest way to test your product so you save yourself thousands of dollars is you need to test cheaply. If you spend too much money on testing, you can't get profitable when you have that winning product. How to scale your products to thousands of units sold without your ROI dropping drastically. Guys, the ROI will drop as you, as you scale. That's just the reality. But we need to minimize that. And in this course, you're going to learn how to do that and much, much more. Next, more traffic. More, more marketing, different marketing traffic methods, holiday specials, guys, Christmas is coming, right? So what you're going to learn is how to turn your mailing list into buyers. How to increase the lifetime value of a customer. Who's interested in increasing the lifetime value of getting many purchases instead of one purchase from your customers? Who's interested in that? Of course. Well, guys, that's if you want to have a real profitable business, the money is in the list. The, the big money is in the after sale, not at, at the sale. So we're going to teach you how to increase the maximum, the, uh, increase your order value. Maximize your revenue by mastering five additional traffic sources besides Facebook. So you're no longer sitting on a one-legged stool. How many of you are on a one-legged stool, depending solely on Facebook and Instagram? Because they're basically one, they're tied together now. You're, you're, you're only on Facebook and Instagram. Who's on, who's on a one-legged stool right now? You have no traffic from anywhere else other than Facebook and Instagram. Nothing from Pinterest, nothing from Google, nothing from any other source. Who's in that situation? Oh, let's be honest, guys. I'd be willing to bet that 90% of the people on this call are in that situation. Yeah, now we got a couple of yeses coming in. Guys, we got to get off that one-legged stool. It's, a, it's not a good place to be. So you're going to learn how to crush crush it during Q4 in this section because there's a whole entire holiday season promotion strategies. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, it's coming. How to increase the lifetime value of a customer. Scaling to, with other traffic sources like Snapchat, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and more coming. But guys, here's the thing. A course is awesome, 
but I one thing I learned from doing this, just giving people a course, very few people will be successful with that. No matter how great the information is, and no matter how well laid out it is, what you really need is a support. So if you combine the great course along with support, then people succeed. So I created this this Facebook group, and I'm I'm in there every day sharing masterminding and giving feedback. Every single day I go in there. You can also private message me if you have questions or feel awkward about asking the group, no problem. This group has some of the world's most elite ma elite e-com minds inside of it, guys. We have many seven-figure earners in there. You know, they are in there contributing and helping out other members. I jump on a couple times a week with exclusive live streams. Every single week I do a Q&A. And I have other live streams I do. So here I am doing the Q&A. People, they, there was 40 questions and every single one of them got answered. I got a Q&A coming up tomorrow. Here's a more recent screenshot, although we got more now, now, but it's 312 members, right? Here's Justin asking a question, right? Look at this, 13 replies. And it says, damn, Tony, you're a genius. Okay, so this Tony guy, who's a, who's a multi-millionaire e-com seller, is in my group, and he, he's in there answering questions. Right, so it's not just me. Here's some other examples of students' results. This student, $84,000 in one month. This student, $36,000 in one month. She says, oh, I just want you guys to know that, that a lot of small budget ads does really work. Started optimizing around the March 29th. Here we go, look at this student, $46,000 in sales. So you're gonna wanna go to ecombanage.com forward slash VIP. Let me just go ahead and jump over there for you. There we go. This is the sales page. All right, here we go. So it's gonna be one time payment of $2,000 or a split pay, five payments of 600. And guys, do, I, do we offer a money back guarantee? Absolutely. For any reason, it doesn't matter what it is, within seven days of purchase, we will refund you. So if you get in there, you don't like the content, or you don't, you say, Chris, oh man, I've been listening to all your videos, I'm sick of your voice. For any reason whatsoever, we'll give you a seven day money back guarantee. So you can approach us and say, Chris, I'm sorry, this is, I decided this is not for me. No problem. Now, I haven't even gotten into the bonuses that you're going to get for this webinar, but I'm just curious. Who is ready to go purchase right now? Who's ready to go purchase right now? Count me in. Yes. We got, we got a count me in and we got a yes. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, guys, so let me recap and then go on some bonuses for you today. First, there's a product development creation course. Guys, this is the most unique course on this section on this ever created. There's over seven hours of content on just how to create products, which is key. Guys, if you don't know how to create winning products, you don't have a business. And so I got you covered. Now, seven hours is a lot, but don't worry. You just go watch 20, 30 minutes of it, implement. Go Come back, watch 20, 30 minutes, implement. That's how you go through this. Um, there's no there's no equivalent course out there, so I just put it at a value of of thousand dollars, but it's probably worth a lot more than that. Site optimization. Um, people out there charging five hundred to a thousand dollars or even more. I know one guy who's charging three thousand dollars for his for a site optimization. Um, site you got to have a good website. If you don't have a good website, you're dead. And here's why: because the site the website is the engine of the car. You got to have, if you have a beautiful frame, seats, and all that stuff, but you don't have your site optimized to convert well, it's not going to convert. You can send traffic to it all day long and nothing will happen, even if your product's good. So we got you covered there. 497 value. Facebook ads. There's over 30, 15 hours and 31 videos on detailed training for Facebook ads from basic to advanced. I know a course, this is, it's almost identical as far as the content. Maybe some slight differences because we have different methods, but very, very, very similar. They're selling their course for $1,500, and that's just a Facebook ads course, nothing else. 
a real mastermind. I'm in a mastermind group right now that I'm paying $5,000 a year for. Get to jump on weekly calls, get to go to a live event a year, right? Here, you get my mastermind, which is the group. You get weekly, every single week, live streams. You get to ask questions and stuff, and that's all included. That's all included in the $2,000 price. But there's bonuses, guys. As I said, I couldn't do it all. I can't do this all, so I had to bring in experts. And these are the bonus. This is the bonus content. Email marketing and funnel courses. These range from $200 to $500. I put it at a $200 value. Instagram influencer webinar. This one is incredible. Mr. J, my friend Mr. J, who I'm not allowed to reveal his name. He made me promise to never reveal it. He has to, You only can find out who he is if you come on and you watch the webinar. Has done millions of dollars he built an entire brand that went did over 10 million dollars in sales all through instagram influencer marketing now he's building a second brand um he sold that original brand all through influencer marketing and he came in and he revealed his methods guys and i can tell you right now most people are doing influencer marketing wrong they're not doing it right and that's why they're not getting results i see it all the time instagram influencer marketing doesn't work guys it does work it's just that most people are doing it wrong. That's a thousand dollar value. Pinterest, another area, guys. I screwed this up big time. I paid someone four hundred dollars a month for two years to do Pinterest wrong. I thought I knew how to do Pinterest, and I tell you, I didn't know. When I brought in Teresa Rose to come in and, and teach the Pinterest section on our course, I was like, what? I mean, Teresa's an expert on Pinterest. She's done Pinterest for over two years and turns all of her revenue on Pinterest. She's actually on a one-legged stool on Pinterest. She needs to expand in other traffic sources. But she is the most foreknown expert on Pinterest. And what she taught in my course literally caused me to close down my Pinterest accounts and start over. $10,000 waste. And you can get tons of sales and traffic from Pinterest if you know how to do it right. Bonus number four. Building your e-com brand with YouTube, $200 value. You can build your brand and make sales on YouTube. Bonus number five, SEO to get sales. Guys, you want SEO traffic. You want Google searches and traffic. Why? Because it converts better than paid traffic. And that makes sense. It makes sense. Why would it convert better than paid traffic? Because it's obvious, guys. People are actually paying they're not paying sorry they're actually searching for what you're selling so of course they're gonna convert better plus if you ever want to sell your site people are gonna want to know they're gonna want to know how much organic traffic you're getting because with paid traffic if you turn off the paid ads the tra the sales stop so you to build a long-term brand and, and a site that has true value you need SEO and guys SEO is expensive um, James can you tell them how much you're charging me for SEO, buddy? Because I'm paying you for it. I want them to hear it from you. Hey, mate, you've been a client now for uh, roughly two years, um, maybe two and a bit years. And um, because of being a long-term client, um, you're locked in at a contract of $1,000 a month. Um, normally, these days, kicking off a new client, we, we start at... Um, $1,250, but on average, most of our clients spend uh, spend a couple of thousand dollars a month. Okay, so in in this course, we got three detailed, very detailed SEO webinars, two from James and another guy from Tony, okay? And yeah, you have to do it yourself, but everything you need to know there is there. And that's a thousand, at least a $1,000 value, if not more. Bonus number six, the first Three people who pull the trigger tonight here with this on this webinar will get private coaching with me. I charge five hundred dollars an hour for private coaching. Okay, so the first three people you will get private coaching with me. Frequently asked questions: How much money do I need to start? Realistically, honestly, I think you should have a thousand dollars, but you can still get by with less. You can still get by with half that or even less than that if you're very careful with how you spend your money, okay? it Which is better, drop shipping or print on demand? 
drop shipping is is I think not a good long-term solution because there's all sorts of problems with drop shipping. Print on demand is a much better long-term solution for building a real brand and a real business. Is POD harder than drop shipping? Yes, it is. I'm not going to lie to you. It takes more effort to find the right winning product with POD than it is with drop shipping. But again, it's it's also easy for people to copy you, right? With drop shipping. I mean, anyone has such easy access to all drop shipping products. With POD, it's harder to drop copy right so and you can build your, your own unique product so you're building a real brand is econ vantage good for beginners absolutely we got a beginner playbook step by step step one do this step two do that is econ vantage okay for experienced sellers absolutely guys we have several seven figure sellers people who join them after making seven figures they got value at it. it just takes one new tipper idea one new tipper idea to make getting the profit is FB the only traffic source you use? No, we use other traffic sources. Is there a guarantee you will make money? No. Guys, people who guarantee they're going to make money from anything, they're just lying to you to try to get you to buy. I mean, here's the deal, guys. Your success depends on you. Your success depends on you and your effort. What I guarantee is this. Number one, you're going to get awesome content that works. Number two, you're going to get my ongoing support. That is what I can guarantee to you. 